all the clarifications, all the messages going backwards and forwards between the BBC and uh, lawyers don't seem to leave us any in any greater clarification than we were at the beginning. There's only three reasons why you pay money to somebody. Because you feel sorry for them, because you have received um, goods. There is a third reason, because you are under pressure. Uh, and there are various pressures that may be um, imposed one of which I suppose is blackmail. I don't think that's really come up much in discussions uh, and it may be shocking to even suggest it. There are other pressures which can be put on someone to part with money. Um, but I can certainly imagine someone parting with money in quite a considerable amount of money. Indeed, I think I've done uh, something fairly similar because I feel sorry for somebody. And... Maybe, maybe that reason is not justified. Um, but if you can help, then maybe you want to. It's not necessarily uh, scurrilous to part with money. It can indeed be very positive. But we don't know. We don't know all the ins and outs of this story. Um, Piers Morgan called the BBC coverage of the issue ridiculous. Alex Chalk said that the BBC needs to get its house in order. A number of uh, commentators have said that the BBC's response to the crisis has been slow, seven, month, uh, seven weeks slow, um, Anne Widdicombe said. On the face of it, uh, it looks horrendous both for the institution and for the individuals concerned. And there seems to be very little done to change that scenario. As each day has gone by, it's looked more and more horrendous. I feel enormously sorry both for the, for, both for the presenter, the unnamed presenter, for the child, for the family. This is not something to gloat over, it's not something to celebrate, it's something to bemoan. And uh, I, I hope it can be resolved as soon as possible. But I also feel sorry for the institution. I feel sorry for the BBC because it is digging itself into a deeper and deeper problem. And the gloating over the Philip Schofield scandal, uh, well, there is an awful bit of me which thinks, well, you know, you gloat over somebody's misfortune and it comes back and hits you in the face. I think a little kindness, a little thought and a little less speculation will go a long way at the moment.